Hey, what's up? Is it your first time going to Munich, Germany and you're looking for some of the best beer gardens? Let's get into it. All right, so let me start this off by saying, I know I'm gonna get a lot of people saying, that's not the best, you know, there's that, that's more touristy and things like that, so bear with me. I've been to Germany a number of times. I've gone maybe six or seven times now, and I go every other year. So I usually go to Munich, it's my, one of my favorite cities. Um, I'm not saying these are the best, I guess. This is the beginner's guide to beer gardens, so in Munich. And uh, if you're looking for a beer garden, you're looking for that experience, I'll kind of show you where to go. You, can, you know, I'm gonna give you a map here, show you kind of uh, maybe in a 3D map exactly where to go in the city so you can kind of navigate around the city. And uh, again, it's not gonna be the tell-all, you know, this, these are the only beer gardens out there for sure. This is just gonna be some of them that you can visit. I'm gonna have some personal pictures. I've been there personally, I know how they are, I know what the atmosphere is like. And uh, you know, let's get into it and let's show you what these are. I'm gonna go ahead and do a screen share and kind of go through them and talk, talk you through them. Um, again, people from Germany are watching this. I know you're gonna have other favorites and just don't beat me up over it. We'll add those later. There's a plenty of videos coming. This is just if you've never been there and you wanna hit a couple beer gardens and get that experience, you know, we'll get into it and we're gonna show people, you know, where I've been and, and what I thought of them. All right, so let's get into this. So if you're new to Munich, um, let me just kind of give you the lay of the land. So Munich, there's a train station. I don't know if you can see my cursor, it's right here. There's a train station right here. So usually from the airport, um, you take a bus or a cab and they, you can drop you off somewhere around the train station right here. Trains go out, obviously the airport's back up this way, this direction up in the upper left-hand corner. Here's the train station, but what you want to do is, if, as you see this little area here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, but this little area with like, it looks like a little circle here, this is basically the best place to hang out. This is the central part of Munich, and uh, there's a lot of stuff there if you want to see basically all the old sites and things like that. Now granted, Munich's huge, there's parks and everything, and I'll get into that in a second. There's a river that goes over here with the great museums like the Deutsches Museum. Long story short though, right in this middle here, you can see my cursor again, hopefully, um, that's that's kind of where you want to hang out. But this first one was one of my favorite beer gardens of all time. It's actually, here's the train station right here. Um, again, this huge spot down here, that's where Oktoberfest is. So just FYI, <laughs> look how big that is. That's almost as big as the central part of the city. But this is where Oktoberfest is, right over here. So if you can see that there. Um, let's go. So the train station's here. So if we go north of the train station and hang a left, um, and go west. Um, right over here behind the train station is one of my, it probably is my number one favorite beer garden. Um, it's, um, and don't kill me for saying this wrong, Augustiner Keller. And uh, so if you zoom in on this, this is one of the bigger ones in all of Munich that I can see an outside garden. And if you look at this really closely, I mean, look at this. This is the entry here, right over here. And you can see how big this is. This is all outside space. There's like a little house here, which I'll show you in a second with some pictures. This is my number one, I, I think, in all of Munich, um, just because of the sheer size of it. We went on a weekday and it was like a weird time and there was tons of people. I mean, I can't even imagine a Friday or a Saturday night on this kind of a place. So FYI, you can't really see that much with all the trees, but I'll show you here in a second. This is my number one, again, northwest of the train station. Look for this, do not miss this. This is one of the best. All right, so here's the entrance. This is These are all pictures that I took personally. So as you walk in, you can see that little building here. It's just basically a really cool, you know, feeling. Um, this is the front of it. You can see there's like a lot of different types of stag parties, bachelor parties, and things like that always going on. So always a fun place. The beers are huge, obviously. You're talking liter beers. So, I mean, obviously, I think that's like 32 to 36 ounces or somewhere in that range. So obviously, that's a huge amount of beer if you can do it. Um, here I am, basically. Just the, the beauty of this is just like the nature. There's trees everywhere. Um, a lot of people just just enjoying the food and the beer great place to hang out I mean you can see here from you know just the crowds and stuff in general just a ton of people and, and I don't even have the best pictures I mean it goes on for like three or four blocks it seems like I mean in every direction so I mean you can't even get across this it takes you like 10 minutes to walk across it but there this is kind of in a weird time too and it wasn't that crowded but it goes on and on and there's a huge food section on the you know to the right over here as well foods you know this is my cousin he had some basic just like frankfurters and stuff like that but they have everything chicken pork you name it um you know you, whatever you want they have believe me all right so remember what I said here's the big here's the very middle of Munich this like little ring here if you can see it's hard to see my cursor I know but so here's this middle. Here's the train station over here. Here's Augustana Keller over here. So if you walk in, basically, you go east from the train station. There's a lot of roads that go straight out this way. And you walk down this main, main road here in the middle. The Marion Platz is right here in the middle. When you get there, you're going to know it. There's a lot of people always mulling around, hanging out here. 
a lot of good times with tents set up, restaurants. But you have to go down this long corridor uh, all the way to the middle of, you know, right in here. Um, now you want to go past this a little bit. Now this is the one that I don't want to spend a lot of time on because it's the one everyone knows. I got to put it in here though. Um, so what you want to do is you want to kind of go past here a little bit and you want to go back into the sections way back over here. Um, let me show you my cursor. So look over here if you can see my cursor. So you want to go past the Marion Platz, hang a left, and you want to walk up this way. And you want to walk way up in here. And uh, if you look in there, we're talking, let me go ahead and click off of that. There's some couple different places here, but the place I'm looking for is the um, going to be the Hof Brew House, which is basically tucked right in here. And it's one of the best places you can go. Let me actually zoom in here. We're going to go ahead and get in there. Um, let me see if I can pull it up here. There it is. So the Hofbrew House basically, sorry about that, the Hofbrew House is basically this whole entire building here. And one of the reasons I'm actually going to be listing this one is because it does have a beer garden. And, uh, you know, the beer garden basically is in here. So it does have an outside. Um, if you can get in there, you know, it's a great place to hang out and just like, you know, have a great time outside. So I classify it as a beer garden. It's really a beer hall. Um, you know, it's got a number of different levels with party levels and things like that. Long story short, you got to hit the Hofbrew House. You got to see it. I'll show you a couple pictures here in a second but let me back out again so here it is right there here's the Marion Platz right here and then way over here is the train station way back on let me go a little bit further way over here so you got to walk straight east past the Marion Platz and then hang a left and then it's right in here so you obviously can't miss that so I'm going to leave that one alone and, and you definitely got to hit that all right, so the Hofbrew House, this is what it looks like on the outside. This is just obviously just part of the facade. So um, it's a beautiful building. It's massive, actually. I don't have the best pictures here, but here's the front of it. You know, look for the HB. When you're walking down that street, you can't miss it. It's, it's probably a half block long or something and even a lot wider. At nighttime, it's all lit up as well. So just a beautiful place to visit. I think it's like three or four levels as well. So anyways, hit the Hofbrew House. Inside, I only have a few pictures inside at that time I went, but that beer garden, you can see it's out there. So look past these people, and that's the beer garden. It's in the middle of the Hofbrew house so there is one out there this classifies as the beer garden beer is great same thing you got to get a liter uh, otherwise people are going to tease you a little bit so always get the liter beer and uh, we went during the day a couple times you know obviously it wasn't as crowded as at night but at the end of the day it's still a great time and you know very traditional in there a lot of beer being drunk here's basically uh, what the, the scene looks like outside so visit it great time go at night another you know place to visit all right, so the third one here, and again, again, before you guys beat me up on all this stuff, this is just the beginner's guide, so there's a ton more. I'm just going to go through like four of them today. Um, but these are ones you want to just definitely hit to get the feel of Munich. So again, here's the ring. You can see it all the way around here. Train station's way over here. You can see that. Rings here. Marienplatz, which I told you about before, is like the mainstay. That's going to be basically as you walk down, you go towards the east. Here's the Marienplatz in here. Beautiful place right there. Um, you can see it there. So let's kind of zoom out. So what you want to do is you want to go past the Marion Platz and come right down and go south. This is a, you know, I have this map northwest, you know, uh, east south. So, so you want to go past the Marion Platz, curve around here. There's like a really cool church in here um, that's been rebuilt. You want to curve around this way and come down here. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not going to, um, you know, butcher this because I don't even know how to pronounce this. I don't even know how to even get close to pronouncing this. But you can see it right here. It's the V I K T U A L I E N Market. M-A-R-K-T. This place doesn't look like much from this if you look here, but it's got, here's the uh, traditional Bavarian beer, you know, beer garden pole right here. This must be like at an off time. I don't know when they're taking these pictures. I think they're taking these pictures like at, you know, six in the morning or seven in the morning when nobody's out here. This is generally packed, generally just out the door. There's wine tents, cheese tents, food tents, but ba basically in here, there's a huge um, amount of uh, food, you know, courts and things like that all the way through here. But right in the middle, right in there, that's basically another beer garden. And when you come here any time of the day, I'm talking any time, this looks like, again, really early, so there's nobody out right now. But all these stalls way over here are all filled up with people. They're all wide open. There's uh, people everywhere. There's, um, you know, beer gardens. I mean, if you go this way, there's restaurants. I mean, it's one of the best scenes, I think, just to hang out all day and just watch people watch, basically. So, again, this is, you know, V-I-K-T-U-A-L-I-E-N. M-A-R-K-T. Um, I can't even pronounce it, but uh, we hung out a ton of time there. If you can see me zoom out of here, it's right in here, right there, but that's the ring. So you basically come out of the train station, go past the Marion Platz and hang a, I guess, a right, and then there you are. You definitely don't miss that. All right, there's that church I was talking about, but it's coming from a different angle. But this is what you see when you're kind of sitting around this market. So, you know, this is some of the scenery around it. 
And uh, again, looking across the street from the market, there's just like restaurants up in here and things like that. So just a really good place to hang out and get some dessert, some really good food. But once you get into the actual beer garden, like I said, it does get really packed. This is actually not that packed, but you can see the food courts behind here, bratwurst, Frankfurt furs. I mean, you name it, it's in here. Um, this was one day that, it, you know, it just started filling up. I forget what time we were there, but I'll show you in a second how, how packed this thing gets. And it's pretty big again. Here, here we go. It's a pretty packed beer garden. Everyone's again enjoying either the liter or half liter beers, but I guarantee get the leader you're going to get teased on it this guy here is hilarious he's a serbian guy and he was like a brute and we actually had a you know he was hilarious anyway you see him say hi and uh, anyways here's a couple scenes of how packed it can get here and uh, just these people watching is my funnest you know best thing to do in munich and, and check this out we had a good laugh with this next guy I don't know why, but he's wearing women's sandals. Isn't that women's sandals? I, I have no idea. Anyways, we loved it here, so this is a great place to go. All right, so the last one, I mean, there's a ton more. And again, don't beat me up because there's a ton of them. And I I'll actually maybe go through some honorable mentions here. But basically, the last thing you really want to do if you go to Munich for the first time, and I guarantee. So here's the ring again. You see the ring? I kind of showed you where the Hofbrew house was. It's kind of in here. The, the, the vital market's down here. Augustana um, is over here, way back over here. There's a couple, there's another beer garden up here. You know, you can, I have not been here, but I, I, I hear it's another beer garden right in here. That's actually gonna be even, I think it's even closer to the train station. Yeah, it's basically just, just basically north of the train station. But here's the ring over here again, if I, I'm gonna kind of zoom here. So here's the ring. So what you wanna do is you wanna actually, you know, head down this corridor, go to the Marienplatz. Good place to do is you basically wanna curve a left or go up north from the Marienplatz right here. You wanna walk up this and basically just, you know, there's a lot of cool restaurants and bars and things in here as well. This is just a cool area to see, a lot of old architecture, a lot of museums, museum districts up to the right over here. But just keep walking up this way. This is really kind of an enjoyable walk. But what you want to do is you want to kind of come up this way. You want to walk through this nice little park, come around here like this. And uh, you want to hit basically, if I'm going to zoom out here, you want to hit this basic huge, huge park here. And I mean, it goes on for maybe a couple miles. So you basically get into this park. You cross the street over here. A lot of times right over here, there's people surfing on this river. It's kind of crazy. You know, you get in here and you can see people surfing. It's really, you know crazy <laughs> anyways it's a great time um, but what you want to do is you want to get in here this little park and you want to take this path that's hard to see here but there's like a little path that goes up here and this goes all the way up to this beer garden right here this is a classic again if you go into here it's called the Englisher Garden I mean I can't pronounce this but long story short you walk in here and again these, this is gonna be they're not showing it when people are here this must be like 6 in the morning I'm just showing you kind of an overhead shot I don't have any pictures myself here because I just don't have them right now but I have taken some I'll maybe post them in another video but I just want to show you this is a beer garden here great beer garden there's like a little restaurant over here too we've I've eaten at that restaurant so that's one of them and if you get really adventurous there's a bunch more in this park you keep walking all the way up here and there's a nice you know lake up here as well you zoom in here look in here and you can see that there's another beer garden right in here and this is another beautiful garden overlooking this lake and it's basically in this huge you know huge area here um, there's a number of other ones I mean this is the English garden I believe that's what the actual name of the park is um, but you can see ones there ones up there and I believe there's a few more up in this park um, I just don't know exactly where those are um, at the end of the day though like I said you know there's a ton of other ones in Munich and that's the thing you have to just kind of get out and discover areas right, I'm just gonna end the video with some great food from some of these you know beer gardens and things like that so great food I'm telling you you can actually just walk around these places have a beer and just eat these things like this is a chive pretzel with some kind of butter I think incredible and uh, just just enjoy the day I mean it's just a great vacation if you like to do that kind of stuff and visit Andes this is one of the best places for this kind of food Andes just got to visit it's I think it's just uh, south of the city Alrighty, so what do you think? I mean, I know again, people are gonna be like, that's not the best, whatever. So we're, we're basically just telling you where I've been. I've been to actually a lot more, but I like those in particular. So um, if you go to Germany, and you're looking for that kind of beer hall, or I guess keep saying hall, but beer garden experience, um, they're all over the place. I mean, you can go in almost any little city around Munich, and, but especially in Munich, there's, there's probably a hundred of them. Um, these are more of the bigger ones that you can go to and actually enjoy. And I totally recommend them because I mean, obviously just being from the States, you know, I love going there, I love that atmosphere. If you love sitting, having beer and like some really good food and things these are great places to go so at the end of the day don't beat me up this is just a, a quick list it's kind of the beginner's guide again you know these aren't going to be experts going um, but anyways let's 
let's leave it at that. So I make videos uh, on technology, travel, obviously what I'm doing here, and then also um, some investing and things like that. But tech, you know, usually Apple products and, and everything else is my kind of mainstay, but I love to do travel, travel around you know, Europe and things like that. So please subscribe, it's gonna help me out a ton. I'm trying to just get my subscribers up so I can make more of these videos. If you guys like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the things I pick, please don't give me a thumbs down because this is just a quick list. Again, I'm doing my best, just trying to help people. Peace.